comes to top German destinations, there is always one that people tend to gravitate towards. And for one reason or another, that destination is the Bavarian city of Munich. Or München, if you will. Are you planning a trip to Munich? You should, as you'll be in for a real treat. Whether you're looking for unique cultural experiences, fun activities or delicious food, Munich has something for everyone. So, what are the top attractions to visit in Munich? In this video, we'll show you 10 of the top unique things to do in Munich. Subscribe to our channel and look in the description below for links to all the travel essentials you need to enjoy Munich. Marienplatz is the old town's main square and is considered one of Munich's most important attractions. Located in the city centre, this bustling square features medieval streets, historic buildings and many shops and restaurants. Enjoy a relaxing Bavarian beer in one of the cafes near the Neues and Altes Rathaus while you watch the cityscape. Then tour the shops in the Viktalienmarkt. This pedestrian zone is free of all motor traffic, making it a great place to pop in and out of hundreds of shops. Don't miss exploring the Funfhofer. This luxury centre has apartments, office space, pubs and hundreds of permanent and temporary art exhibits. You can wander the courtyards and passages for days, but art highlights include Tita Gies' Hanging Gardens in the Salvatore Passage, Olafur Eliasson's Sphere in Viskardehof, and the glass mosaics in the Prana Passage. If you're looking for the perfect shopping experience, make sure to explore the shops along Kaufinger Strasse, Neuhauser Strasse, Sendlinger Strasse, and Theatiner Strasse. Take the time to enjoy a stroll to iconic destinations, such as Maximilian Strasse, the National Theatre, the Münchener Kammerspiele Theatre, and the Residence Theatre. Or take in breathtaking views of Munich's renowned Frauenkirche or Hofbrauhaus, all conveniently located near Marienplatz Square. You'd be mad to miss the Rathaus Glockenspiel at Marienplatz, which chimes twice daily at 11am and 12pm. The show consists of 43 bells and 32 life-sized figures that depict stories from Bavarian history. It's beyond charming, and about as Munich as you can get. If you visit Munich near Christmas, make sure to attend Christkindlmarkt. Every year the city displays 2,500 lights on a huge Christmas tree in front of the Neues Rathaus. Mingle with natives and fellow travellers while you look through the hundreds of stalls selling everything from crafted wood artefacts, fine German sausages, gingerbread of every sort and shape, and freshly roasted chestnuts. All the German and Bavarian advent sweetmeats are sold including spicy Pfeffernus biscuits and large pieces of Magenbrot cake. Make sure you wash it all down with warm mulled wine or some nice cold mead. The English Garden is one of Europe's largest urban parks and was designed by Sir Benjamin Thompson in 1789. It stretches over 910 acres or 369 hectares if you really care. The English Garden is home to several monuments including the Chinese Tower Beer Garden which serves traditional Bavarian foods such as pretzels, sausages and of course plenty of beer. The iconic Monopteros Temple is one of the most popular Munich tourist attractions, providing stunning panoramic views of the English Garden and city centre towers. A luxurious limestone edifice standing a lofty 16 metres tall is picturesquely perched atop an impressive 15 metre high brick foundation, cleverly concealed by a man-made hill. At the behest of Bavarian King Ludwig I, renowned architect Leo von Klenz began constructing an iconic round temple in a Greek style back in 1833. A captivating vision, the Chinese tower peaks above the treetops of the English garden. Its majestic design is a splendid blend of Far East aesthetics and traditional Bavarian panache. Just next door to the Chinese tower lies an inviting beer garden, teeming with 7,000 seats and the soft umpapa of Bavarian brass bands. The Japanese tea house at the south end of the English Garden is less well known among Munich tourist attractions, but one of the most unique things to do in Munich. Today the tea house is a popular meeting place for formal Japanese tea service and even for anime gatherings. All in all, the English Garden is one of the best things to do in Munich with kids. Visitors can participate in various activities such as biking, jogging and even surfing on the Eisbach River wave. One of the main reasons Munich is a top choice for travellers is Oktoberfest. Oktoberfest is an annual festival held in Munich from late September, oddly enough, to early October that attracts millions of visitors each year. This event celebrates German culture with traditional music, costumes, food and more beer than you can shake a stein at. Oktoberfest in Munich has been celebrated on the stunningly historical Theresienwiese for over two centuries. 
This grandiose field marks where Prince Ludwig and Princess Theresa held their wedding, later known as the first official Oktoberfest celebration. As a testament to her legacy, the open area was named Theresienweser, which translates to Theresa's Meadow. So, yeah, despite the name, this annual festival takes place towards the end of September, typically lasting 16 to 18 days. With merriment and joy, festivities continue until October 3rd, which is German Unity Day. With that in mind, let's toast to togetherness with our mugs held high. Prost und zum Wohl! The Oktoberfest experience includes 14 major beer tents. Each exquisite tent is unique and offers its own kind of amusement, food and beers. From the big six breweries to independent owners, these tent areas are full of fun possibilities. In addition, there's an even wider selection from 20 mini tents that range in size from 60 to 900 people per tent. You can find all sorts of delightful dishes here, such as dumpling delicacies, seafood specialties, cheese plates and much more. It's a feast for both your stomach and your soul. Oktoberfest is not just for adults. There are also carnival rides, games, and other attractions for kids of all ages to enjoy during their visit. Even babies and buggies and strollers are allowed into Oktoberfest, except on Saturdays and German Reunification Day on October 3rd. Children are welcome in beer tents during the day, but discouraged later in the evening. Oktoberfest is a must if you go to Munich in September or early October. Dressing up in Lederhosen isn't required, but hey, when in Rome. The Munich Residence is a former royal palace and one of the city's most popular attractions. From 1508 to 1918, the castle served as a regal residence for Bavarian dukes, electors and kings and their government seats for over four centuries. The Munich Residence features a series of ornate and well-preserved Baroque rooms, including the Treasury, which houses Europe's largest collection of secular treasures. Visitors can also explore two beautiful courtyards, the Green Gallery, which is an ornate ballroom, and the Cuvier's Theatre. Designed in the late 18th century by Josef Effner and Francois Cuvier, the stunning ancestral gallery boasts a combination of gilt carvings by Wenceslaus Merowski and exquisite metallic work crafted by Johann Baptist Zimmermann. Furthermore, over 100 portraits of Wittelsbach family members are showcased on these walls for all to admire. It was Karl Albrecht who commissioned the magnificent porcelain cabinet adjacent to the ancestral gallery to demonstrate his royal status and links to the dynasty. He leveraged this art collection as proof of his right to ascendancy to the imperial throne, an endeavour that actually proved successful in 1742. The porcelain cabinet was once home to the most valued treasures of the Wittelsbach family, encased in large mirrors and glass cases. Today it displays the Residence Museum's acclaimed collection of porcelain pieces. In the mid-1700s, Elector Maximilian Josef III commissioned the construction of Cuvier's Theatre, an exclusive theatre for members of the court near his dwelling. From 1751 to 1755, this space was designed and developed with great care, eventually becoming one of Munich's most beloved attractions over two centuries later. The Cuvier's Theatre underwent a two-year refurbishment process after damage and looting during World War II. Sadly, the original ceiling painting of Johann Baptist Zimmermann is no longer in the auditorium. However, its grandly carved decoration with effigies and ornate floral patterns still make it a significant example of the Bavarian Rococo. The Cuvier's Theatre remains an exemplar of exquisite artistry. The remarkable rooms and artwork of the Munich residence are a must-see Munich tourist attraction, ranging from the Renaissance to the Rococo and Neoclassicism eras, demonstrating the extraordinary taste of the Wittelsbach dynasty. The Bavarian State Opera House is one of the world's most renowned opera venues, and it's been operating since the mid-19th century. The Opera House is currently home to both the Bavarian State Opera and the National Ballet Company. Carl von Fischer designed the Bavarian State Opera House, drawing his inspiration from the magnificent Odeon Theatre in Paris. The theatre made its grand debut in 1818 with the production of Die Weihe by Ferdinand Franzel. Unfortunately, it was devastated by fire five years later in 1823. The theatre was rebuilt quickly and opened to the public again in 1825. Leo von Klenzer's creative vision is evident in the latest edition of this building as he incorporated designs from Greek revivalism, including an awe-inspiring portico. In 1943, the Opera House was decimated by Allied bombs during World War II. 
Architect Gerhard Moritz Graeber drew upon Karl von Fischer's blueprints to restore the stately neoclassical edifice with an auditorium that could hold 1,200 people. Today, only the original grand staircase and foyer remain from pre-war days. The rebuilt theatre was inaugurated on 22nd of November 1963 with a performance of the Master Singers of Nuremberg, written by Richard Wagner. St. Peter's Church is one of Munich's oldest churches and features a mix of Romanesque, Gothic and Baroque architectural styles, making it a top spot for building buffs. This iconic church was built in the early 1200s and as a sacred site of worship, is still used for religious services today. This majestic old church is well over 800 years old and has endured numerous fires and reconstructions over the centuries. An aesthetic wonder, the interior of St. Peter's is a unique combination of Gothic, Baroque and Rococo elements. Artistic highlights include the St. Martin altar and ceiling fresco by Johann Baptist Zimmermann. The second chapel is home to St. Mundisha's bejeweled skeleton. Adorned with golden threads and gems, it glitters magnificently in the light, even though it's a skeleton. Make sure you save some energy to climb the 306 steps of the South Tower for spectacular views of Munich. Hofbrauhaus am Platzl is one of Munich's most famous beer halls. This iconic establishment dates back to 1589 and serves up traditional beer, delicious food, live entertainment and a great atmosphere. Dating back centuries, Hof Brauhaus Brewery has solidified its legacy as one of Munich's most iconic and beloved beer halls, indeed throughout the entire world. Its legendary creation was spurred by Wilhelm V, Duke of Bavaria, who found that Munich's beers were not up to par. He consequently ordered a state brewery be opened so he could satisfy his craving for a good beer. In 1897, Max Littmann completely modernised the building when he relocated the brewery to the suburbs. Sadly, most of the beer hall, apart from the Schwemmer, was destroyed by bombing in World War II. Its rededication in 1958 symbolised the end of post-war renovations in Munich. So pay a visit, grab a bite and sample some quality German beers in this historic public house. Hellerbrunn Zoo is one of Germany's oldest zoos, founded in 1911. This terrific zoo is home to over 6,000 animals from all over the globe, from lions, giraffes and tigers, to penguins, zebras and elephants. From 1928, Hellebrunn Zoo became the world's first geo-zoo, which is the principle of arranging the captive animals geographically according to continent and country, rather than just tossing them all in the same enclosure with grisly results. Through these same expansive enclosures filled with multiple species living together harmoniously, or at least belonging together, you can experience an educational journey into the vibrant animal kingdom. Hellebrunn Zoo is among the best things to do in Munich with kids, especially wee ones. If you have an extra day or two on your Munich trip, take a trip outside the city and explore some of Bavaria's finest castles. Located atop a rugged hill overlooking the village of Hohenschwangau in southwest Bavaria is Neuschwanstein Castle, an architectural masterpiece commissioned by King Ludwig II to pay homage to Richard Wagner. Plus, the castle served Ludwig with a serene retreat. Neuschwanstein Castle is considered to be a real-life Disneyland castle, with its beautiful views and interesting history. Schloss Nymphenburg is one of the grandest Baroque palaces in Germany. Located just outside Munich, this palace was built for Elector Ferdinand Maria and his wife Henrietta Adelaide of Savoy as a summer retreat. Today it is a popular tourist attraction and boasts a stunning palace garden, an expansive park, several museums and much more. Inside the palace you can explore its extravagant furnishings and explore the grand halls. Its most famous room is the Gallery of Beauties, which houses 36 portraits of beautiful women from Bavaria's society. Last on our list is a twofer. The Bavarian National Museum and Deutsche Museum are two of Munich's most popular museums that you simply must hit up. The former is home to a collection of art and artifacts from the Middle Ages, while the latter offers a look at technology, science and industry. If you're looking for an educational and entertaining experience, both of these museums are must-visits. With captivating artifacts from the past and current technologies that shape our future, there's something for everyone to admire. So, after all that, is Munich worth visiting? Oh yes indeed!
Munich has so much to offer visitors that it can be hard to decide what to do first. From Marion Platz to Oktoberfest, there is something for everyone here, no matter your interests or budget. So come explore all that this amazing Bavarian city has to offer, and you won't regret it. Thanks very much for watching. Allow us, Via Travelers, to assist you in having the most incredible and unforgettable travel experience wherever your destination may be. And you can let us do that by subscribing to our channel and our newsletter so that we can help make your journey extraordinary. This has been James, and there's a strong possibility it will be next time, which is where I hope to see you. Or not, because this is pre-recorded. Tschüss, y'all!